In this video, we're going to go over practice three here and how to draw it. <clears throat> so with this one, since it's a thin wall object, instead of drawing both all the way around, we're going to draw just the outside. We're going to use the polyline command. With the polyline command, it'll combine that all into one line. So when we offset it, it'll offset it all together and keep our gaps here so we don't have to do a lot of trimming. So first, let's start drawing that. And this line here, that center line with the, the symmetrical marks, means that it's the same top and bottom. So we're only going to draw the top half, and then we'll just mirror it down. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. So this line here is going to be a half an inch, and then 0.3, and then 1. So let's get that in first. So I'm going to go to polyline, start here, go up, 0.5, out. 0.3 up 1. Now I want to come over 3 and then back down 1.5. So over 3, down 1.5. Then I want to go down 0.5 and in 0.5. So could I do this and just go 0.5? No, because if I do that, I'm actually going to go in less because it's measuring along the angle. So I'm going to use my coordinates. I'm going to say 0.5, oops, 0.5 comma negative 0.5 enter to get that line in. And then another half inch in and a half inch down. So half inch in, half inch down. And as I pick this, you can see that's all one line now. <clears throat> so now if I offset it and offset it 0.1, the inside, I get that. So now, a couple little things. I need to draw a line here to here to connect it. And I want to mirror the whole thing. So I'm going to mirror, pick the whole thing, pick that as my mirror point. I'm just going to go straight out to the right. And then say, no, I don't want to delete the original. So now I've got several different lines. If I select everything, I can see I have six different polylines selected. And then, or say four polylines and two regular lines. So what I want to do now is join these all together. So I'm going to go to P edit. So I can either type P E or I can go to modify on the slide out and P edit. So I'm going to pick one of those. I'm going to join. I'm just going to pick everything else and hit enter. And now I look at the top option here, and it tells me I have an option to open it. So that means it is closed. It's closed all the way around. So I'm just going to hit Escape to get out of it. I pick on it. I can see all the way around. It's one object. Now I can go to Measure, Area. And right here I can see the default value is going to be Object. So I'm going to hit Enter to pick an object. I'm going to pick on that. It's going to tell me what the area is. So that's it for this lab.